Hi students, today we will discuss theorem 5.2. This theorem has uh, three parts. First part is let y be a subspace of a normal space X, then y and its closure are normal spaces with the inducer norm. Proof of A part given that y is a subspace of the given normal space X. Okay, then obviously we have a norm on X. So if we restrict the, this norm onto the subspace Y, then the norm on X induces a norm on that subspace Y. Okay, then uh, here we have only to show that Y bar is a subspace of X. Then the norm on X induces a norm on the linear space Y and Y bar. Okay, so for this we take two elements from closure of y, y and z. Then there are two sequences say yn and zn in y such that yn converges to y and zn converges to z. This is a non-result we already discussed in the part of metric spaces. Okay, so uh, since yn and zn in, uh, are sequences in y, then uh, for any k belongs to k, kyn plus zn converges to ky plus z. Okay, This is due to the continuity of vector addition and scalar multiplication. This result also we have proved earlier. Okay, Now, since y is a subspace, then kyn plus zn is a sequence in y and hence ky plus z belongs to closure of y. Okay, so this shows that y bar is a subspace of x or closure of y is a subspace of x. Okay, so this is the proof of the first part. Theorem 5.2 B part let y be a closed subspace of a normal space x for x plus y in the quotient space x by y. Let triple norm x plus y is equal to infimum of norm x plus y such that y belongs to y then this norm is a norm on x by y that is norm on quotient space okay called the quotient norm also a sequence xn plus y converges to x plus y in this quotient space if and only if there is a sequence yn in y such that xn plus yn converges to x in x. So, uh, here we have quotient space in the norm defined. Defined is infimum of the set of all norm x plus y such that y belongs to y. But x by y is the quotient space. Aana. Okay, for first thing we can do is this normal define this kind of norm, this quotient norm, that norm on quotient space x by y. That is the first thing we can do. And now the part is a sequence x n plus y converges to x plus y in x by y. quotient space. This is our sequence. That is converging in that angle. Angle there is a sequence y n in y such that x n plus y n converges to x in x. Okay, so first we will go under the either norm or not. Okay, so proof of part B. Clearly, uh, by definition, this quotient norm of x plus y equal to infimum of the set x plus y such that y belongs to y which is greater than or equal to 0, non negative one, by definition of norm. Okay, now if this is equal to 0. Let x plus x belongs to y. Let x plus y belongs to x, this quotient space is such that this norm of x plus y triple uh, quotient norm of x plus y equal to zero. Pangre na na ngile. Namu kanda da adatta norm inda condition na ingen da x plus y equal to zero na namu kanda. Okay. So by definition, uh, this is equal to zero means infimum of this set is equal to zero. Okay. So, infimum 0 on angle, then, there are, uh, then for any n belongs to n, 1 by n cannot be a lower bound of infimum on the greatest lower bound on. That is 0 on angle, we can see that that is the lower bound of this set. Okay, this is the lower bound of this set, x norm x plus y. 
okay so then there exists some yn belongs to y such that x plus yn which is less than 1 by n okay idu lower bound allengile namukku ingane ullo oru number kaanan pattu norm x plus yn nalla okay so uh, that is idina nammal onnu x plus yn yn minus minus of x nu ezhudi which is less than 1 by n so this shows that yn converges to minus x as n tending to infinity okay now since y is closed y is closed means closure of y is equal to y okay since yn converges to minus x so that means my n minus x belongs to closure of y here closure of y equal to y since y is closed so this means minus x belongs to y okay now so this means x belongs to y since y is a linear space so minus x belongs to y means x belongs to y that is x plus y equal to y okay so since x belongs to y so that means uh, equation sp space ayad konde namukku idine y nu ezhudan pattum so this means this is a zero element in x by y okay so this shows that nammal assume cheyidathine norm x plus uh, this quotient norm x plus y equal to zero implies x plus y equal to zero in this quotient space okay now on the converse part conversely let x plus y equal to zero in this quotient norm then uh, this implies x plus y equal to y which implies x belongs to y okay that means minus x belongs to y y is a linear space okay then uh, minus x belongs to y then no uh, trip, uh, this quotient norm of x plus y by definition which is the infimum of this set okay then which is less than or equal to norm x plus y for any y belongs to y okay so this is equal to we can rewrite y as minus x since minus x belongs to y okay so this mean equal to zero so that is if norm x plus y uh, if x plus y equal to zero then norm trip, uh, this quotient norm of x plus y equal to zero so if and only if condition that is a second condition then third condition let x1 plus y and x2 plus y are two elements in this quotient space and epsilon greater than 0 since uh, this quotient norm on x plus y by definition infimum of norm x1 plus y okay for all y belongs to y then uh, this uh, quotient norm of x plus y x1 plus y plus epsilon y2 cannot be a lower bound of this set okay since this is a uh, greatest lower bound okay so something plus epsilon y2 cannot be a lower bound of norm x plus uh, of the set this set okay then there exists some y1 belongs to y such that norm x x1 plus y1 which is less than this one this cannot be a lower bound so there exists there is there is a chance for something okay similarly we can write since uh, 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 this uh, quotient is a uh, norm of x2 plus y which is the by definition infimum of the norm x2 plus y such that y belongs to y we can find some y2 belongs to y such that norm x2 plus y2 is less than quotient norm of x2 plus y plus epsilon by 2 we have two equations okay then uh, quotient norm of x1 plus y plus x2 plus y we are trying to pro prove the uh, the triangular inequality okay so we take x1 plus y and x2 plus y so this is equal to norm x1 plus x2 plus y okay then in by definition you can write this as like this okay so which is less than or equal to x1 plus x2 plus y1 plus y2 okay so uh, no which is less than or equal to so since uh, uh, the y1 and y2 belongs to capital y so we can write like this okay we can split y as like this 
then which is less than or equal to x1 plus y1 norm x1 plus y1 plus norm x2 plus y2 okay so which is less than or uh, which is less than co uh, quotient now already we have two equations so by using that we can write which is less than quotient norm of x1 plus y plus epsilon by 2 okay plus quotient norm of x2 plus y plus epsilon by 2 okay so we have uh, quotient norm of x1 plus y plus x2 plus y which is less than quotient norm of x1 plus y plus quotient norm of x2 plus y plus epsilon okay so if we are removing this epsilon then uh, we will get which is less than or equal to this okay so the third condition now let k belongs to k if if k equal to 0 then obviously this hold that is triple uh, that means a quotient norm of k into x plus y which is equal to kx plus y okay which is equal to uh, since k is 0 so this means this is equal to 0 so this is equal to mod k of uh, quotient norm of x plus y so if k equal to 0 then this is right? now if k not equal to 0 then quotient norm of k of x plus y equal to kx plus y quotient norm of kx plus y by definition infimum of this set and this is equal to we take k outside then mod because uh, this is a norm so it satisfies the property of norm okay so that's why we take k outside then this become mod k okay so that is equal to mod k into infimum of this set okay so y by k, k uh, belongs to y is a linear space so y by k belongs also belongs so we can uh, replace this y by k as another y so we this become <coughs> mod k into infimum of this set where y, y k belongs to y okay so what is this this is mod k into uh, quotient norm of x plus y okay so and therefore uh, this uh, quotient norm is a norm on the quotient space okay next we want to show that a sequence xn plus y converges to x plus y in quotient space x by y if and only if there is a sequence yn in y such that xn plus yn converges to x in x okay so first we assume this uh, a sequence xn plus yn converges to x plus y in the quotient in the quotient space x by y okay so suppose xn plus y is a sequence in the quotient space x x by y now first we assume that xn plus y converges to x plus y in x by y okay then the quotient norm of xn plus y minus x plus y which is equal to xn minus x plus y so by definition infimum of the set xn minus x plus y such that y belongs to y okay so there exists some yn belongs to y such that xn minus x plus yn less than norm xn plus y minus x plus y plus 1 by n for all n belongs to n okay since this is infimum of this set that means here the greatest lower bound okay so if we add some 1 by n then it is not a lower bound okay so uh, there is a yn belongs to y such that norm xn minus x plus yn which is less than norm xn plus y minus x plus y plus 1 by n for all n belongs to n okay now we assume that xn plus y converges to xn x plus y that means xn plus y converges to x plus y so as n tending to infinity this term goes to zero also as n tending and tending to infinity 1 by n goes to 0 so this dot this means one uh, this term goes to 0 as n tending to infinity so that shows that xn plus yn 
minus that is norm xn plus yn minus x converges to zero okay uh, this shows that xn plus yn converges to x in converges to x in x as n tending to infinity now conversely assume that there is a sequence say yn in y such that xn plus yn converges to x in x okay then quotient norm of xn plus y minus x plus y which is equal to we can rewrite this as xn minus x plus y quotient norm of xn minus x plus y okay so by definition this is equal to infimum of this set norm xn minus x plus y such that y belongs to y okay so this which is the less than or equal to norm xn minus x plus yn for all n belongs to n okay now since uh, norm xn plus yn minus x converges to zero as n tending to infinity okay this is our uh, assumption okay so so this uh, quotient norm xn plus y minus x plus y so that means this goes to zero as n tending to infinity okay so left side uh, quotient norm of xn plus y minus x plus y which you can uh, convert to zero as n tending to infinity infinity so this shows that xn plus y converges to x plus y in quotient norm of uh, quotient space x by y okay so this is the proof next part c of theorem 5.2 let norm xj be a norm on a linear space xj where j varies from 1 2 3 etc m fix p such that 1 less than or equal to p less than or equal to infinity for x is equal to x of 1 etc x of m in the product space x is equal to x1 cross etc cross xm let norm p of x which is equal to norm 1 of x of 1 power p plus etc plus norm m of x of m power p hold raised to 1 by p if 1 less than or equal to p less than infinity and when p equal to infinity then maximum of norm 1 of x of 1 etc norm m of x of m then norm p is a norm on x next we want to show that a sequence xn converges to x in x if and only if xn a, xn of j converges to x of j in xj for every j varies from 1 2 3 etc m okay so see part le rendu karyangal aanu namukku prove cheyandathu first nammal ee define cheyirikkum norm p okay rendu different cases one less than or equal to p less than infinity lum p equal to infinity lum norm aanu nanu first time prove cheyandathu രണ്ടാമത്തത് എക്സിലുള്ള സീക്വൻസ് ആണ് എക്സെന്ന് അത് എക്സിലേക്ക് കൺവേർട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ സ്മോൾ എക്സിലേക്ക് കൺവേർട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അതിന് കറസ്പോണ്ടിങ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള എക്സ് എൻ ഓഫ് ജെ ഇഫ് എൻ ഓൺലി ഇഫ് എക്സ് എൻ ഓഫ് ജെ കൺവേർട്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് ടു എക്സ് ഓഫ് ജെ ഇൻ എക്സ് ജെ ഫോർ എവരി ജെ വേരീസ് ഫ്രം വൺ ടു ത്രീ എക്സ് ആർ എം ഇപ്പം ഇതാണ് നമുക്ക് പ്രൂവ് ചെയ്യാനുള്ളത് ഓക്കെ സോ പ്രൂഫ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ലെറ്റ് വൺ ലെസ് ദർ ഈക്വൽ ടു പി ലെസ് ദർ ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി ഫസ്റ്റ് നമ്മൾ പ്രൂവ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഈ കേസിൽ ഡിഫൈൻ ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്ന നോം പി ഓഫ് എക്സ് നോം ആണെന്നാണ് നമുക്ക് പ്രൂവ് ചെയ്യാനുള്ളത് എക്സിൽ ഓക്കെ സോ ഈ കേസിൽ ഡിഫൈൻ ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്ന നോം പി ഓഫ് എക്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നോം എക്സ് വൺ ഓഫ് എക്സ് വൺ പവർ പി എക്സെട്ര ഈ രൂപത്തിൽ ഹോൾ റേസ്റ്റ് വൺ ബൈ പി എന്നുള്ള രൂപത്തിലാണ് നോം ഡിഫൈൻ ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ഇൻ ഓബിയസ്ലി ഹിയർ എക്സ് ഇസിക്കൾ ടു എക്സ് ഓഫ് വൺ എക്സ് ഓഫ് ടു എക്സെട്ര എക്സ് ഓഫ് എം ഓക്കെ നോ ക്ലിയർലി നോം പി ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ റിക്കോൾ സീറോ ബൈ ദ ദിസ് ഡെഫിനിഷൻ ഓക്കെ ദെൻ ഇഫ് നോം പി ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇസിക്കൾ ടു സീറോ then if and only if this is equal to zero that means this equal to zero okay so this is if and only if norm j of x of j equal to zero for all j varies from 1 2 3 etc m okay so if and only if x of j equal to zero so this implies x is equal to zero okay for all cases if x is equal to zero then norm p of x is equal to zero or norm p of x is equal to zero then x is equal to zero first condition next let k belongs to k then norm p of kx by definition we can write like this okay then norm um, k taking k outside then mod k 
power p whole raised to 1 by p okay then that means mod k into norm x1 of, of x1 power p plus etc plus xm norm xm of xm power p okay so this means mod k into norm p of x okay next let xy belongs to x then norm p of x plus y by definition we can write like this okay next then which is less than or equal to norm 1 of x of 1 power p plus etc norm m of x of m power p whole raised to 1 by p we split it okay but we split it using mingoski in equal to it and split it which is this is equal to norm p of x plus norm p of y that means norm p of x plus y less than or equal to norm p of x plus norm p of y okay so from these all conditions we uh, norm p is a norm on x for 1 less than or equal to p less than infinity now let p equal to infinity okay by definition norm infinity of x you know, maximum of this set another over the definition video when you're going to clearly to clearly norm infinity of x is greater than or equal to zero since each norm j of x of j greater than or equal to zero okay now if norm infinity of x is equal to zero that means this set is equal to zero okay that means e, uh, norm j of x of j equal to zero of all j so this implies that x is equal to zero this is if and only if condition okay now uh, for k belongs to capital k and uh, norm infinity of kx by definition we can write like this then max this means we can take k outside so mod k maximum of mod k that means mod k of maximum of this set okay so this means mod k into norm infinity of x now let xy belongs to x then norm infinity of x plus x plus y by definition we can write like this then which is less than or equal to when we are splitting this we can write like this then this means no infinity of x plus no infinity of y so this shows that norm infinity of x plus y less than or equal to norm infinity of x plus norm infinity of y and from all these above result we can conclude that norm p is a norm on x for p equal to infinity okay then second part let 1 less than or equal to p less than infinity okay first let assume that x, the sequence xn converges to x in x okay from the definition of norm p we have norm j of xn of j minus x of j which is less than or equal to summation j varies from 1 to m norm x uh, norm j of xn of j minus x of j power p whole raised to 1 by p okay so uh, that means xn of j norm j of xn of j minus x of j which is less than or equal to this means norm p of xn minus x okay and also we assumed that xn converges to x in x so this means this uh, side goes to 0 as n tend into infinity so this shows that xn of j converges to x of j in x of j okay now conversely let xn of j converges to x of j in x j then for epsilon greater than zero there exists kj such that norm j of k xn of j minus x of j less than epsilon by pth root uh, root of m for all n greater than or equal to kj okay then uh, let capital K is the maximum of K1, K2, etc. Km. Then this uh, norm J of Xn of J minus X of J, okay, which is less than epsilon by the pth root of M for all n greater than or equal to K. Okay. Now norm P of Xn minus X by definition, which is equal to summation J varies from 1 to M, norm j of xn of j minus x of j power p whole raised to 1 by p so which is less than we have norm j of xn of j minus x of j is less than epsilon by pth root of m so 
substituting this here then we will get which is less than summation a varies 1 to m this is the same as epsilon by p the root of m whole raised to uh, so whole raised to p whole raised 1 by p okay so this means uh, uh, this whole raised to p into m whole raised 1 by p and this means which is equal to epsilon this for all n greater than or equal to k so this shows that x n converges to x in x okay now next when p equal to infinity and first we assume that sequence x n converges to x in x okay then from the definition of norm p when p equal to infinity we have this is when p equal to infinity we have this definition that is norm x n of j minus x of j which is less than or equal to maximum of this norm j of x n of j minus x of j okay so uh, that is norm x n of j minus x of j which is less than or equal to norm p of x n minus x here so this converges to zero uh, as n tending to infinity okay so that means xn of j so that means this goes to zero as n tending to infinity that means xn of j converges to x of j in xj okay and conversely let xn of j converges to x of j in xj then for any epsilon greater than zero there exists kj such that norm j of xn of j minus x of j less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to k now norm p of xn minus x which is equal to maximum of this set this is actually less than epsilon okay so this means norm p of xn minus x less than epsilon okay or just that means x uh, norm p of xn minus x converges to zero as n tend to infinity this shows that xn converges to x okay so this is the proof of theorem 5.2 thank you